Hello, welcome to this week's flipped learning. In the next two weeks in maths, we will be learning how to solve addition and subtraction word problems. By the end of the two weeks, we will be able to choose addition and subtraction to solve word problems, show our understanding of what how many more or how many fewer or less is. Learn to write number sentences. Use pictures to help us solve problems. Use visual objects and patterns. And apply addition and subtraction to multi-step word problems. First, we will use keywords such as add subtract, total, calculate, and how many more to help us decide how to solve a problem. In this question, we are being asked to work out how many flowers there are in total. We can see eight flowers in the vase and two flowers in the girl's hand. Here the word how many and total help us know to add 8 and 2 to find the answer. Remember this, to find the total always means to add. In the next lesson, we will work out how many more and how many fewer or less is needed when counting. Here you can see a tower of six cubes on the table. To find out how many more is needed to make 10, we have to count and add more cubes. However, if we only wanted four cubes left from the six cubes, we will have to subtract or take away some cubes. So the words how many more means to add and how many fewer or less means to take away. Then we will learn to write number sentences to match word problems. This number story tells us Sam bakes 20 cookies and gives away eight. We write a number sentence by thinking about the numbers in the story. We know Sam baked 20 cookies, so we will write 20 as the first number. We know he gave away eight. To give away means having less. So we must write the takeaway sign before writing eight, which is how many cookies Sam gave away. The number sentence for this number story will be 20 take away eight. After that, we will use pictures to help us with our working. Here we read that Emma has 13 stamps and Ravi has three more stamps than Emma. Remember, the words more than means to add. We can find out how many Ravi has by adding three more stamps. As you can see, the 13 green cubes show how many stamps Emma has, and the yellow cubes first show 13, and three more for how many Ravi has. Can you use this to work out how many stamps Ravi has?
we will continue to use visual objects and patterns in our work. This slide shows Holly with seven tennis balls and Elliot with 11. To find the difference between the numbers of tennis balls, the balls have been lined up in two rows. From this, you can see up to the point where they have the same amount and where the difference is in the number of balls Elliot has than Holly. The pattern of seven is demonstrated for both children with the tennis balls and also with the cubes. Finally, we will use all the learning we have done to work out addition and subtraction multi-step problems. Here, to find the distance between the two bears, we will use more than one step to work it out. First, we will count how many steps the light brown bear is from the flag. One, two, three, four, five, six. The bear is six steps away from the flag. Next, we will count how many steps the dark brown bear is from the flag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The dark brown bear is nine steps away from the flag. So we write six plus nine. Then we will use the knowledge of number bonds to first make 10 by breaking 6 into 5 and 1. As shown in the circles. We will then make 10 by adding 1 to the 9 before adding Five. You have been great at learning all different ways to solve word problems. Now it's your turn to challenge yourself. Can you think about how many ways you will use to solve this problem? Go ahead, give it a go. Thank you for watching.